that, man. Now, I would like to tell you yes. that we, the Streetwalking Cheetahs, are a punk band who are also playing the Rainbow 45th Anniversary Show. Yeah, However, we grew up, among other things, listening to bands like Black and Blue and Jet Boy. Uh -huh. And so, like that. we're so, like playing with the bands tonight are school. Yeah, like we're huge fans. So, like, we just went up to Jamie St. James, like, like not as fanboy. Yeah, or... like, not as fellow musicians. We were like total rock nerds. <laughs> Mr. Duff. I'm all right. How are you? It is very good to see you, sir. It's good to be seen. Yes, that's what I just said. It's oh, good to be seen. I'm repetitive. Yeah, yeah. You're always one behind me. I feel like that, yes. <laughs> so, Street Walk and Cheetah is back, you know, in action, kicking well, it's been ass. a few years now. Yeah. And it sort of feels like, uh, we were just talking about this, it feels like the last year we sort of hit a stride. Yeah. And we sort of picked up uh, a lot of new fans and got a little bit more... Uh, motivated of a fan base, I guess you could say, so things are feeling pretty good right now. New yeah. material, getting ready to record. We've had a whole bunch of shows, uh, so, so we're kind of getting those out of the way. We're going to get back to the studio and do a three-song. Anticipated being done, I'm going to say, I'm going to be optimistic and say five weeks. So it's just a matter of uh, are we going to put it out or are we going to try to find someone to press it? Oh, probably, where are we? We're in May, almost May. Late summer? Late summer, good, yeah, good, I good. Think so. Right, that's exciting. And if, if like one of the you know indie vinyl companies doesn't jump on it, we'll probably just put it out as a streaming thing. Whatever works, right? Yeah, get it out for everybody to hear. I mean, it's only the hardcores that come to shows, really, that are buying vinyl anyways, because uh, unless you're going to sell 500 like that, no one's stocking it. Right. Yeah, uh, I've been dealing with that with a lot of bands. So, it kind of uh, sucks, right? Well, I mean, I get it. But yeah. it's, it's funny when you look at a store like Amoeba that has so much stuff, right. and then I can go there, regardless of stuff I'm working on, I can go there and find three records I'm looking for that aren't there, and I'm like, well, wait a minute, how do you how do you make the cut to be in this massive warehouse of vinyl and CDs? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's just you can get lost in there for days. Oh, yeah. And it's still great. I'm not yeah. knocking it at all, but I'm there's still a you know a little bit of a level that it's difficult to uh, get in some shops. But thankfully, we have Amazon, so that takes care of a lot of stuff. There you go. Amazon is actually a useful platform. It definitely is. I use it all the time. I love it. at Amazon. That's, you know, the, the modern world we live in. And there's your drummer. And he just walked right by. I never, he's so, that's how he is. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. He's like uh, the phantom. And the phantom. You know, we're not they sure if there or All right, well, we're going to wander around a little bit more. Where do, do people it. go to find out more about Street Walking Cheetahs? My favorite's Facebook, but we do have a website too, but I think most of the current stuff is Street Walking Cheetahs on Facebook slash Street Walking Cheetahs. And there's a Twitter too, SW Cheetahs. Yeah. It, it's funny, I deal with a lot of bands, and I find that every band sort of has their best social media. Some are right. better at Instagram, some are better at, I feel like we're best at Facebook. Yeah. Pretty good at Instagram. Twitter, trying. Trying. Yeah. Trying. All right, Mr. Duff. Thanks. So we'll see you at my birthday party, yeah, May we'll 13th. We'll be there with the cake. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be coming out of the cake. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs>
they, they understand it. We're, we're the next generation. We grew up listening to Black and Blue, and we took that and we mixed it with the New York Dolls and the Stooges and the MC5 right. and came up with what we do. But, like, don't get me wrong, like, we're as much rooted in metal as we are in punk, like, but for yeah, us, it all came together. there was that in the 70s when people were afraid to admit what they were really into, yeah. but all that's gone now. All that's gone now, it's true. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, now I'll tell you, like, I love the Sex Pistols and Black and Blue. I love the MC5 and Kicks. Yeah. Uh, and, like, and, and and back in the day, those were such different things oh, to very say. Nice. But now it's just rock and roll music. Yeah, well, it really is. And what's good is good. Yeah, yeah, what's good is good. So you can be into the, the Susie and the Banshees and PIL, but you can also be into, like, Kicks and Black and Blue. And and reality is, is like, we all love the Rolling Stones. That, that's the middle ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? Black, baby. Yeah, we yeah. all love the Stones and Aerosmith and Alice Cooper. That's what brings us together. Sure. You know what I'm saying?